Hello guys, this is Sasson here, this is the Daily Grind And this is DC Legends uh, I'm not really excited about playing this I'm kind of really just going to see where this leads So this is just at reset Reset has happened uh, like 5 minutes ago, literally uh, While I'm recording this video so get ready for the joker i missed some of these don't care but anyways um let's see just how far we get into the raid bosses that's a level three and i have energy I'm reading some people asking what the good team is for Steppenwolf. Well, there's this. Uh, obviously, a full blue team is going to do extremely well. Uh, but you have to have uh, characters that are able to do critical damage very fast and that are uh, this is just too high volume. Um, so, again, if you was um, weren't able to listen um, what is a good team for this particular raid boss blues high damaging blues that have good basic or fast specials on low cooldowns uh, or a team of buffers that will allow you to do a ton of damage real fast uh, Swamp Thing, if you have his basic upgraded is a nice option because he gives critical ups and as such he will increase your damage output uh, now that they have fixed Aqua Bro, I'm gonna try him. Oh, a level 5. Nice. So. Alright. Uh, let's try Aqua Bro. Where is he? Here you are. Like this. I keep using Superman. Even though he is green, because he has a five, uh, five times multiplier, and that is very important. Uh, he very quickly gets out of control, and of course, having Swamp Thing ensures that if you are lower gear, well, that oh, I messed up that you get some HP back because if you're not seeing high damage from Steppenwolf here is because most of my of my tunes are gear 11 uh, only Aqua Bro is gear 10 and I just want him to do that to call the assists But I'm kind of bothered that the animations take too much time since you only get one minute to do as much damage as possible. It's very hard to keep it up. So that that's going to be it for for this assault this is an alliance raid boss and apparently most of my guildies are sleeping or something so let's try yeah i think i will be able to solo this one
And this will be perhaps the only game mode where having gear 11 characters actually pays off. Because it's really a race against time and all characters seem to take forever to get their turn. This for some reason is going slower than normal PvP and you really can't afford, you can't afford to have extra animations taking up time like well an assist is cool but big big buffs big out of turn attacks that take several seconds to perform well they are a no go so obviously if you are in a big alliance that actually plays uh, do it like this just go one single point of energy at a time Unless you are one of the biggest spenders, you are not going to score a lot of points. But this boss is easily defeated, or can be easily defeated by an alliance that actually plays. Like if you have like at least 10 members or 20 members, doesn't matter if they have gear 11. Of course, gear 11 would make this way, way easier. But yeah, pretty much this is going to be the only game mode that actually rewards you having a deep roster with high gear on that roster. So yeah. In the end, I could have... It would have been better if I had spent a multiplier because that applies... Oh, I level 8. Well, I'm... I'm going to check that out later. And if you don't want your list to get cluttered, you just click on Dismiss. And... Let's try Well, you can actually get the bosses from here too Oh, how I hate this game sometimes Yeah, level 22, yeah, fight now Let's do this So I'm going to try something right now after after this fight. And that's going to be try to stack several bosses in a row just so I don't have to keep loading the screen every goddamn time. I'm feeling tempted to bring that Aqua Bro to gear 11. Well, that can happen today because I don't have the resources for gear mostly because I haven't played for a week before this came out. And yeah, debuff is not a viable strategy for these raid bosses because Steppenwolf is going to clean himself of debuffs in his own round. So you can't stun him, you can't... 
uh, what's the alliance mission rewards yeah all right um let's let's check what's in the store oh beast boy who wants beast boy what's beast boy good for so yeah let's, let me get my harley shards and let's try this again it doesn't matter what game mode you choose the raid boss spawn is completely random and just like red kryptonite x has said uh, the level of the boss for your solo raids depends on the amount of points that you have accrued through the event and i'm really only going to try to climb to top 10 today well to gather the 100 million points that you need for the rebirth shards because this event ends tomorrow so if it's somewhat cheap then yes it's going to be a nice addition even though this is fucking boring i don't care what you guys say this is boring it has uh no rhyme or reason and i feel a minute is just too low to make certain combinations certain compositions viable like i mean you can pause this um i don't know we are finding out as we play so all right i'm already done with this so i come here doesn't matter if it's heroic or normal any node will do sometimes it spawns on the first try sometimes it takes five so of course if you want to make more points you need more tries and again this is where this system is stupid because it rewards players for doing less instead of rewarding players that are doing more it should have been tied to the amount of energy you spent in one go so higher nodes should yield higher level bosses in lower energy nodes to oh wow well. well that was that for aqua bro but it's also cool because now i get more actual attacks per round aqua mod just has two slow animations and yeah from here onwards it's pretty much just to spam the basic and hope for the best because I was defeating a level 22 raid boss with a single energy point I don't know why now it took two 
uh, whatever this is the thing you can keep your boss all for yourself so you get all the points and you don't have to share and risk losing your score multiplier because the guy who kills the boss gets a special multiplier and at this level it's three times and the level 35 boss it's a four times score multiplier so yeah it doesn't pay to share because even if you share with only one people if he does 51 percent damage then he becomes the most valuable player and he gets the big score boosts in this case it's a three times multiplier So let's try to stack the bosses. Like if I get one boss, I'm gonna save it for later. Okay, maybe later. And let's see. Oh, a level 56. Okay, let's go fight now. and i don't remember if i used five yeah i'm gonna go with five just because so taunts active buffs are a nuisance in a liability in this game mode you want strong basic attacks that you can spam easily like these guys and even this thing with the assist it's not really that wonderful I can bet your ass, you can bet your ass that they just increased the difficulty because these guys weren't as difficult before the reset. Wow, one million points of damage. Come on! Um, god damn well it's only going to be an extra point share boss no way it's mine it's my boss You know, I'm I'm really wanting to see those gear 8 and gear 9 guys trying to tackle one of these guys. Aquamoa over there is gear 10 and he just got one shot. Just like that.
So we have three and four energy, so I'm even. And let's see if my other boss is there because I saved one boss, so to speak. Oh yeah, he's here. So, well, takes two hours for them to reset. So yeah, Aqua Bro, go away. Give me back my Wonder Woman DOJ. She has better defense. Doesn't go down as easily. So maybe you can stack four or five bosses before you decide. To go kill them. So, this is pretty much it. Almost 6 million points. So I think I'm in good shape. Uh, I'm down to 101 place. But yeah, I think I can I can shoot up real fast once I start getting those level 90 bosses. And let's do a last one. Well, well, my first level 90 boss. Let's go fight it, just to finish this video. I really think it's going to take like three tries or something like that. And yeah, let's go. You can't stun the boss, you can debuff the boss. Strength down doesn't stick, doesn't matter what the duration is. So let's see how it goes. So this Steppenwolf doesn't doesn't spend time self buffing, so there's that. And just to give you a taste of how ridiculous Cancer Girl is, Superman needs 25 times his normal gear 11 stats to do more damage than here on a critical. That's just how lopsided this is. Yeah, Wonder Woman DOJ is a uh, terrible liability. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna spend 60 energy doing this just because I want to ensure that I get all the points for my greedy self.
Porque... I think... I wasn't able to do that in a single three point energy because I neglected to rebuff with Cancer Girl. Yeah. She'll have buffed twice. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Once I start getting, or once you start getting level 90 bosses exclusively, at 1 million points each, that's just 100. <laughs> yeah, just 100 bosses to get your rebirth so maybe like four hours of gameplay now mind you I have only been playing this for two hours and not really focusing on bosses until I decided to do these videos I was doing uh, normal stuff grinding and I bought uh, an alliance energy pack which now I realize was unnecessary completely unnecessary Oof. I didn't get good rolls on this one. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it takes take six energy to take down a level ninety boss. So, just gonna finish this one. And I finish the video and upload so you can actually see what this is all about. So, one thing you should keep in mind, guys, is that... Um, you're the customers here and if you want to give your money to a company then the company should have the decency to provide a product that fulfills your needs and it's not about being uh, whiny little bitches really but if the competition somewhere else is offering something better and the guy you are buying the stuff from is neglecting you well you should go to the competition then which is kind of what I did so yeah there is that, and I want to save some energy to do this one. Some alliance energy. So, next level 90 boss is gonna bring me to towards reward 27. So, let's check if the legendary bosses are already active. You can check that here. So, I'm here at 90, and yeah, I can start getting level 100. 25 and whatever so when I get those I'm gonna make another video just to see how difficult they are 
and let's check the leaderboard I'm on 86 and my alliance top 200 so we are not doing too bad it's okay it's all right uh, yeah getting out of this range is gonna take gold at least for my alliance because so far i think it's been like three people playing out of eight so we really need higher guys and I will hate to leave these, these guys because they have been awesome even though we don't speak to each other that much. But yeah, I have to try this at full speed. So, well, that was that for the video. And we'll be seeing each other next time. Keep grinding on.